Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode we cornered Lloyd. Finally, we finally caught up with Lloyd. It's finally time for a decisive battle. He has obtained the power of the Divine Dragon. He is a wingling, he was also a Divine Dragoon. Which is bad news for, for everyone. He's obtained, it looks like, this Moon Mirror. Uh, and in disc one, when Dart fought Lloyd, he couldn't even touch him. Lloyd was just too fast. But but we're ready now. Emperor Diaz and I desire the world will be reborn. Uh huh. So yeah, Lloyd is spouting a bunch of a bunch of nonsense about the flow of evolution and how everything has to be destroyed. You humans are merely the unseen six in my master plan. Blah blah blah. He's a, it's doing his villain, villain thing. But we're ready for him. Uh, so here's another fight where we cannot really use our dragoon powers because if we turn into a dragoon. He'll kill us with the Dragon Buster. Um, he'll instant kill us. He'll... So this is bad news. I've switched out Rose for Albert here. Uh, largely for reasons of plot. Like, here's the one who killed Lavis. I want Albert to be here to finish this guy off. <laughs> Plus he's still the most powerful guy in our team. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him wreck some people. Meru is here because she has a high magical defense, uh, even with her armor of legends lowering it uh, a little bit. Uh, and she's just going to be our, our support. Uh, and Albert and Dart are going to try and take him out physically. We need someone fast like Meru. Uh, because of Lloyd, because Lloyd does this stuff. Look at this. Look at look at this Lloyd. He's constructing additional pylons for some reason. And that's what we call a boss attack. Forget about this Wendigo stuff where the Wendigo was like, I'll do 10 damage. He just nearly wiped out Meru, who I remember now I should have put a Dragon Helm on. I should have transferred the Dragon Helm from... Oh. I should have transferred it from Rose to Meru, but Meru's very fast right now. Her speed is about 110 to Dart's 50, uh, so she should be... So I've, I've used both power up and speed up on Albert now, I believe, so that we can get in a bunch of these. I'm messing it up, but still. Um, and Meru, in the meantime, is going to be supporting us with healing. I bought a bunch of healing breezes from that merchant. I cleared out my inventory of a bunch of other total vanishing and stuff that I never use. Uh, and placed it with a bunch of healing items because this Lloyd fight is... is deadly when he goes into his super magical attacks. Yeah, look at that. But Albert is so powerful right now. Um, I'm just gonna guard with Mary so she takes half damage from anything else that comes up in the near future. She's, she's there for support, so I need her alive. Is she... She won't do much physically to uh, to Lloyd, but uh, Albert Albert is a beast. When you give him the power up and the speed, oh, I messed it up, but you could see how much damage he was just like wrecking them with. Uh, let's. I want to get in. I want to get in a bit of a kick. Uh, wingly to wingly, I guess this Lloyd. We're we're strong at this point in the game. Lloyd is strong too because Lloyd. Just look at him, he's a little cheater. He's 
should be banned from Steam. Like, he's obviously using some sort of cheat, but it's okay because uh, we have a very strong team. I'm Since I've played this game through a few times, I know exactly how to prep into certain characters, like where I should uh, put, you know, put my time and, and effort into, uh, into grinding additions and things. And that means that we've got... We've got a very nice party which is going to be able to take out the rest of this disc, I hope. Before the uh, anti ups itself again. In disc 4. Oh, here we go. He's doing a light show. DJ Lloyd in the house, dropping the bass. But at least it wasn't that one that he used before. Here we go, Lloyd. Lloyd, more like dead, because Albert just wrecked you with like a bunch of. Like a thousand damage a piece. Uh, you can see even. I think Moonstrike is Dark's most powerful move so far uh, at this point of leveling it up. And it's still half the damage of, of Albert. Missed, says Lloyd. Yeah, he's got a bit high dodge, but hasn't helped him so far. I so look forward to taking out Lloyd. He gave me so much trouble when I originally played, but we're. But we've come back for this Let's Play and we are. We are very powerful. And we finally get the chance to give him a kick and hopefully take his Dragon Buster uh, and show him what it means when you kill one of our party members. What are you going to do, Lloyd? I shouldn't have asked that question. I shouldn't have asked that question. Why did I say something like, what are you going to do about Lloyd? Because now. Now he's going to construct additional pylons again. It's going to do like 800 damage to everyone in the party. We'll probably, we'll probably kill Meryl or something because I haven't been paying attention. All right, all right, Lloyd. You do your thing. We're also lucky that he hasn't done that more often because <sighs> Barry's drops dead. All right. Hold on. Uh, Angel's prayer. This is the part where it gets tricky because uh, if he gets in another attack, I'll be put on the defensive. Look, she just revived. I mean. You're not going to kill her because she has the armor of legend with a physical attack, but... But jeez, you should be a bit more considerate. Alright, um, we're going to use... We're going to use another healing breeze. That should bring us all back into not being KO'd by the next time he does that move. And then that should give us the opportunity to finish off Lloyd. But... But, he's not playing by the rules, and even though Dart went for a finishing move, he's dodged it. Well, wow. 
I mean, well, what do you say to that? What do you say to that? Sister Wink has taken a full-on sword strike in the back uh, to protect Lloyd in the name of romance, which Lloyd killed Lovitz. Yeah, they're all waiting outside to see see what Dot does. They're letting him make the decision. Why? Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away from my own ideal and the divine moon objects. I used you. So... Oh, wait. What? 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 By the man named Emperor Diaz? Wow. So, it turns out Lloyd wasn't the main villain after all. He's been working with someone called Emperor Diaz, who, uh, I think should have died, like, 11,000 years ago. Um, and who's taking Shana. I dedicate my death to your departure. There we go, give him a punch in the face. I mean, we should kill him, but we can't because... Because he's the... We're the main characters, boy. You can't just do things like, say... Like say, kill me. Uh, because it means we can't kill you anymore. I mean, I guess we're just gonna have to uh, leave him alive. Passion. Is this the power that drives them? Well, this was an eventful episode. That was just explaining what's what's happening. Shana was... Yeah, when we go there we can reveal the truth about the Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, he's dangerous. It's unforgivable to take out dear Shana. I mean, look, Shana was having a nice rest. You can't just kidnap Shana. I know Shana is there to be kidnapped. I know Shana is like the queen of getting kidnapped. Uh, apart from Queen Teresa here, of course. Excusing her presence, who is the other queen of getting kidnapped. But... can't just take Shana. Oh well. So we... We need to head to Velweb for the final... The final part of Disc 3. To settle all this about the Utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire. And solve the mystery behind who this Emperor Diaz is and why they've taken the name of someone who should have died a long time ago. In the next episode... There's gonna be some murders. And by that I mean... We're gonna murder some people. And by people I mean probably some kind of bear. Uh, we probably won't murder Emperor Diaz for a while because... It's gonna take a while to get to his hide out, but I'll see you then.